Hey there guys, we're taking a look at uh, er Eratus, Eratus, I think. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering your name. He's playing Demo Man in Brazil. And obviously it's CP Badlands, so let's see how he does. So yeah, right off the bat, it's kind of unfortunate to mess up those first two jumps. And pretty much every time, any time I mess up uh, either of the two jumps there, I go window, just because if you don't, I feel like you're set back a little too much. Okay, so, real quick. Your first couple sticks, I I would say they're pretty good. Um, and I think it was the third one where you hit the demo. After that, I think it's very reasonable to consider maybe saving some stickies for the later part of the mid-fight. Um, but you chose to keep firing, which was fine. But I think definitely by the time you're down to like three or four stickies and the soldiers were airborne, at that point there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do damage-wise with those stickies, so I just sit on them and maybe reload a couple. Maybe try for an air pipe or something because that's going to give you a lot more success than just firing stickies kind of like mid-range um, and just being out of stickies when the soldiers land. So right now I'd be trying to keep this demo from getting up which you could have done if you had stickies there, that's another important thing you can use them for. And this pill spam is pretty good. Uh, you can never really go wrong with that kind of pill spam when they're behind train. Uh, I like to keep a few pills loaded just in case something kind of crazy happens. So maybe if I were you, I'd fire like three and just keep one in in the chamber just in case. So this is a good damage you're putting on that soldier. Um, just from looking at what your soldier did there, I wouldn't justify you going for the medic there. So just putting more damage on the soldiers probably would have been better. Uh, yeah, like the first soldier that you were shooting at, he might have been killable there. But at the very least, you'd be able to get out and weaken them enough, so... I don't think it's appropriate to be... Okay, you're setting up a trap. I still think it would have been better to get crit heals there. And maybe defend choke a bit. Since your team's already up here, it's kind of... Oh, how'd that guy get in? Anyway. Yeah, if your team's holding up, generally as a down man you want to be with them. Good read on that scout. Should definitely pick up the health pack. Uh, maybe your scout picked it up, but... Okay, so that... was just a, a lack of kind of understanding where they were. And even with that scout pick, I don't know if it was really the best situation for your team to push out. Because it's pretty easy for a team in Yara to just kind of collapse on, on a bunch of people pushing through one door. Like, they probably didn't need to Uber there if they had just sent those players in as their medic backed up. They could have forced you for free and maybe even kept one of those players alive. So that's kind of the the way I tell that a push probably isn't the best idea. So I like that you're doing this. Even if the soldier wasn't going in, usually this is pretty free. And, um... I think it's fine going for one air pipe there, but it's really easy to just, like, nine, ten out of, nine times out of ten the scout's going to jump above that metal panel there. So it's really easy just to sit a sticky, set a sticky there, my apologies, set a sticky there and just dead it on him. And since you had damaged him for like two sticks, they weren't the best sticks, but they still hurt him quite a bit, he was a pretty easy kill. So good of you to jump up on point there. It's kind of unfortunate that he caps this. He shouldn't be recapping right now, because... Well, if someone's capping and they're likely to exceed, succeed, their team's probably going to push up, and at the same time, a 3 times cap versus a 2 times cap, I would never consider that um, worth the risk to your medic there. Plus, you had people respawning, so if they did have something coming behind you, you weren't really in too much of a predicament. So I probably would have fired one sticky at that soldier you saw in the lower left because it's a guaranteed hit. 
but there really wasn't much you could do with that last fight by the time you respawned. So this one's going a lot smoother. Yeah, so this is a pretty perfect rollout. And with this, yeah, you want to fire your first sticky there. Um, second sticky, if the demo's not coming out that way, I'd probably look either window or to shoot valley. Because if you fire a second stick valley after your, like, if you do your rollout well enough, you'll hit the, both the soldiers turning around that corner. And you can just keep shooting stickies down there and kind of crush them in valley. And since you were kind of unopposed for most of that, aside from the scout on the uh, closet side, you probably would have pretty much just contained them in valley. But yeah, if you go there really fast and you're not really contested, uh, I think it's more than reasonable to fire a sti your second sticky towards valley because you'll really deny those soldiers or at least look to get some damage on the scout. I'm not really sure what this play is about. Um, like a, a responsible team is always going to be a setup for for a push like that. I mean they were stacked on the point but you see it, it didn't really matter anyway. Um, so that kind of aggression, especially the demo first and taking a, a lot of that uber there, I don't think it was really right. You probably would have been able to do a lot more damage and not quite take as much resources from your medic if you had just sat behind your team and let your soldiers kind of jump in with scouts leading. So this is one of the times where you want to be in upper lobby because that's like the best spot to spam spire from. Uh, but looks like you guys defend for a second, so being out here isn't quite bad. I don't think it was unreasonable to stay there and just keep shooting that soldier. Uh, he had just jumped and you hit him with two stickies, the latter being a uh, 60 damage sticky, and that's pretty significant. With just a couple more stickies, uh, some lucky prediction I guess, you probably could have gotten that kill, but not a big deal. So I wouldn't put 8 stickies on the point here. It's really nice having a trap just to um, kill anything that can maybe come through another door. And as you see, like by the time they're on your point and you have 8 stickies there, it's like they're probably going to win the round anyway. You really need to be doing more at the beginning of that fight to really prevent them from getting such a strangle hold on your kind of position. So yeah, like you could pretty much be crushing these soldiers. It's good that you stop looking at that soldier that went um, underneath. I don't know, that mid was a little weird because they had a light out guy, but yeah, it was good for you not to shoot the, shoot the soldier that went under bridge because he's pretty much a guaranteed kill and you worrying about that guy is just going to take a lot of damage and control away from the top of mid. I don't think it's really necessary that you put all these traps up, especially the upper one. Like, if you have two stickies there on uh, like the side, it's pretty much going to catch anyone. But well, ultimately, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, I kind of fumbled my words a bit when I was talking about last, and since there's some downtime, I'll try to cover it a bit better. It, it's a lot stronger for Demo Man to put damage out at the beginning of a fight because that's going to kind of determine what's going to happen later in the fight. And if you're not spending your time doing damage at the beginning of a fight because you have stickies on the point, then by the time they get in the position where they're comfortable to take the point, their lead is going to be so overwhelming that it doesn't matter that you have the eight stickies on the point. So setting up like a forward trap would have been better there. So this is a really good coordination by you guys, uh, your scout sacking on the point, you having stickies there. 
Um, yeah, that was a good push. I think you overextended slightly when you were kind of going into there. I think there was a potential for you to get fragged if the enemy team was being a bit more observant. Or a bit quicker to turn around. So maybe just stay a bit further back. That'll help your soldiers get in too, because they really need the medic more to get in than you do. Doma man can always be doing damage at range. So just staying back in that main area and crouching to maybe get sticks in if you need to is probably a better use of your medic's resources than kind of tanking him, or tanking you in. So this is good. You're concerned about killing these soldiers here. I don't think it's necessary to use pipes in this situation because you're already winning so hard that, you know, you don't really need to put out all this burst damage. So I think just relearning a couple stickies there would have prevent prevented any potential threat to your medic. But either way, nice mid. Uh, it was good coordination by you and the scout to kind of get on the demo. And then you sealed off and did damage to the soldiers very well. Alright, good. You get that kill. As soon as you guys clear this, you're going in first. You have to be really wary about a pyro on this corner. That's why I often don't like taking demo man up here. At least leading first, because the power is just going to ruin your day. So I don't think you should really come down from here, because once you're on the floor, you're always going to lose the other demo man. Like he can just sticky the point, and you really have no kind of threat like being put out on him. But yeah, basically once you're up. Uh, top on last, there's very little situations where you want to drop down. Unless you know you can get the cap or it's very pertinent that you force some pressure to the point, but that usually means you have other people alive. And I definitely don't think you were in a situation where they could have chased you without incurring some pretty crazy losses. Uh, one second. 